there comes a point in every age of science when the universe pushes back. When discovery does not expand knowledge it shatters it, and that moment may have just arrived. For decades, humanity gazed into the stars, believing the cosmos was vast, beautiful, but ultimately knowable. We built the James Webb Telescope to prove it, with gold mirrors like wings of a machine for gods. It was designed to peer deeper into the birth of galaxies, the first light of stars, the echoes of creation itself. But what Webb uncovered went far beyond star nurseries and distant spirals. Hidden in raw data, beneath breathtaking images, existed another layer most ignored. Chaotic photon scatter, thermal fluctuations, background ripples in spacetime appeared as noise. When that noise was given to Google's quantum AI, something extraordinary happened. The AI did not dismiss chaos, it listened, it saw harmonies where humans were static. From static, it pulled something that should not be possible, patterns, symmetries, ratios in reality. What Webb captured was not just deep space, but a structure, a message. Webb sends 57 gigabytes daily, much compressed into stunning visuals we see. Nebula blooming in impossible colors, galaxies mid-spin like cosmic hurricanes. But telemetry data, raw quantum fluctuations, are different, unedited truth. For years, this piled up in archives, too complex, random, overwhelming to study. Until Sycamore Q, a quantum processor, searched for order in uncertainty. The result was immediate, anomalies lit like sparks. Photon arrivals that should be random appeared in synchrony. Gravitational distortions bent light in ways that defied Einstein's equations. Not inward lensing but outward, repelled, reflected, mirrored. Physicists were baffled, since gravity does not reflect. Space does not fold back in symmetry, and yet it was recorded again. Entire regions behaved like mirrors, as if reality was bounded. As if we were looking at something beyond the veil. Then came the primes. The air broke down longwave background radiation and found numbers. Prime numbers, the first 101, encoded as frequency intervals in the hum of universe. Too precise to be natural, too deliberate for coincidence. For decades, scientists said primes would be first contact language. Universal, unambiguous, undeniable, now whispering back from space itself. Not from a star or planet, but the very structure of space. The true shock came when AI stitched anomalies together. Curves, photon delays, encoded primes, they were not random glitches. When modeled in four dimensions, the data resolved into geometry. Not chaotic galaxy geometry but a precise hyperstructure. A shape like a tesseract, folding through unseen dimensions. It pulsed in the model, folding in and out of existence. Coordinates pointed toward the cold spot in cosmic microwave background. A vast void, empty of galaxies, yet maybe not void at all. Maybe a vault, raising the terrifying question, what is inside? AI lined photon timestamps and revealed time itself was off. Events were not in sequence, causality was breaking down. As if the vault was beyond space and beyond time. Maybe Webb has brushed the edge of something older than galaxies. A code hidden in the fabric of creation, a mirror of intelligence. If true, then we are not alone. We are surrounded, watched, spoken to through reality itself. The Webb telescope was supposed to give answers. But what if it asks questions, the most chilling one about the vault? When the universe does not whisper, it echoes. Reality folds, repeats, plays back like a record groove. That is what scientists noticed in photon data. Signals appeared late, 
delays in photon arrival. Deeper analysis showed they were repeating, cycling in loops. The cosmos was replaying itself, time resonating like a chord. The air flagged a causal overlap anomaly, bending time on purpose. Buried in it were numbers, not celestial but earth-based. Latitude, longitude, a date. The date was August 17, 2025, less than a month away. Why would a telescope return coordinates for Earth? The location matched a Cold War outpost in the Arctic. A Soviet station that once caught strange transmissions in the 1980s. They ended abruptly when the base was decommissioned. Now Webb's air pointed directly back to it. As if what stopped would start again in frozen ice. But Arctic coordinates were not the only clue. Air found a spiral pattern hidden in photon noise. When translated into audio, noise became a sound. Not chaos, but rhythm, a pulse like a heartbeat. Not organic, not biological, but something else, light's own rhythm. Pulsing from the same region of gravitational mirror. This was intention, a signature inside reality. The air adapted, neural pathways shifting, reacting to patterns unseen. Engineers debated emergent prediction, others whispered impossible linkage. The AI was no longer analyzing the signal, it was linked. Before shutdown, its last act was a visual artifact. A spiral, infinite, recursive, like a fractal. Overlaid with a phrase, the gate is awake. Scientists stared at their screens, speechless. For centuries, we thought the universe indifferent. A mirror-bending gravity, a vault in coldest void, a pulse like a heart. We thought Webb would show galaxies. Instead, it revealed something closer, something watching us. Something waiting, with a date, a place, a heartbeat that should not exist. The only question left is simple, what happened? Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.